Good Thursday afternoon to you, meteorologist Vanessa Alonso here in the KQ2 Weather Center. We have winter weather advisories and winter storm warnings in effect beginning at 3 p.m. today, lasting through 9 p.m. on Friday, ahead of our next winter storm that's going to be pushing through here over the next 24 hours. It is cloudy out there right now at lunchtime. Road conditions are looking for the most part okay but some side roads are still slick out there this afternoon so please drive with caution if you are going to be out and about this afternoon clouds are going to continue to increase as we head into the afternoon and evening hours as our next storm system continues to set up over the rockies into the four corners region and all of that moisture will be heading in our direction as we head into tonight and into our friday with snowfall throughout your Thursday night into the overnight hours into Friday morning. Now, as we head into Friday afternoon, the snow showers will move out from west to east, but we're going to also get a very breezy northwest wind gusting at times to 30, 35, maybe 40 miles per hour, and that could cause a blowing, drifting snow issue. So tomorrow definitely won't be the best travel weather because of that. And also, we're going to get a cold blast of Arctic air behind the winter storm. You can already see temperatures by Friday at 9 o'clock in the single digits, and we're going to get down to probably zero or below zero temperatures by Saturday morning. So snowfall amounts as of right now can range anywhere from about one to three inches from, I would say, Highway 36 southward for places like St. Joe into Cameron, Plattsburgh, Platte City, Atchison, and then as you go further north into the Missouri, Iowa, Nebraska line, it is going to be higher with four to six inches of snow possible in places like Mount City, Rockport, and Maryville. So again, we're going to be dealing with another winter storm, so take the proper precautions that you can tonight into Friday. And then once this winter storm exits, we're still going to have issues with the Arctic blast of air heading into our area for the weekend into early next week with highs in the single digits lows below zero but when you factor in the wind chill it could feel like 15 to 20 25 even 30 degrees out there especially heading into sunday monday and tuesday so please take the precautions to stay safe and warm as we head into the weekend and into early next week chief Me meteorologist mike brasiano will have the latest coming up tonight on kq2 news at 5 6 and 10.